Hey, what's happening? It's James Canzanella, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a very quick kind of tutorial showing you how you can actually utilize the ClickFunnels Countdown Evergreen Timers. Okay, so if you haven't gotten started yet with ClickFunnels, I'm sure you have. Either way, there's going to be links down below if you want to check those out. You can get bonuses even if you're currently using ClickFunnels or if you're looking to get started. So make sure you check those out. And now that we've gone through the fun stuff, let's move on to the magic of the evergreen timer. So I just have a random thank you slash sales page here. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you how it works along with some of the options. Okay, so what we need to do is just hover over anything where we want to add it. For example, you could put it at the top. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to put it above the headline. Okay, so we have, let me make this bigger here. Okay, that doesn't help you, but it helps me. All right, so <laughs> let me minimize this. We have the timer evergreen and we have the daily evergreen. Let's go with the timer. Gotta open this up, add the page. Okay, since this is going to be at the top. Okay, so what we do is we go to the options. Okay, so this is pretty much going to be one. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging to use because what happens is that every time someone comes to it, it's pretty much going to be showing the same thing starting from the beginning. So for example, the revisit action could be auto reset timer, timer could be auto expire for X days, or you can just hide timer and show section. Okay, so for example, hours, minutes, let's just do zero, seconds, let's do nine, or let's do 10. Sure, and the cool thing about this is you can redirect to URL, for example, Oops, let's don't do that. Okay, I'm just putting AOL there. Don't send your traffic to AOL, they have enough. It's my disclaimer, okay? But aside from that, this looks pretty ugly. Okay, so let's change it up a little. So right now we have the option for text only. We can do a circle line. We can do circle gradient. We can do flat and we can do my most super favorite. We got the gradient, okay? Looking a little bit small there. If you wanna make it smaller, you can, but large is pretty cool, like the large and in charge. We can do black, we can do white, we can do red, we can do blue, we can do green, and we can do my favorite, yellow with the gradient. I happen to like that one, that's just me. And this is, you don't wanna do that, then you can't see it, depending on your background. It's centered, it's good to go. Let's save this and check it out. So let's preview. All right, so this is one that's actually pretty hard to get right without looking like a complete douchebag if you've ever seen before. Like, this offer completely is leaving the market in 10 seconds. And you come back to the page and it's still there. Okay, AOL, cool, that works. Uh, you know what I mean. You've seen it before where <laughs> people do that all the time with fake scarcity and so on and so forth. However, you can say stuff like hurry up and act fast and then put like, you know, five minutes on there or something and then redirect it elsewhere. I mean, you can do something like that. Uh, but that's just kind of my perspective. Either way, that's the uh, evergreen countdown. Let's go to the second one. Let's do daily evergreen. This one's pretty cool. Let's go to add the page. Once again, get rid of this. Edit this up a little. So this is going to be different. This one's cool because it's a little bit more hands-off. Uh, depends on what you're going to be using it for. I like this when I was doing launches. I actually liked both of them. I used this one, and once the time went to, uh, let's say, 11 p.m., you know, I would raise the price. So... For example, we would do end today at, I don't know, let's do 8 a.m. Eastern time. You can do redirect, you can do show and hide elements. So for example, when I was doing a launch, instead of when it went to 8 p.m. or 8 a.m., whatever the time was, let's say we're using 8 a.m., I would just go in and raise the price. So I wouldn't redirect to any URL, um, auto reset timer, you know, I could just take it down. And then text only, once again, gradient, I like this yellow save and let's preview might take a, a moment or two but okay it's good to go so in nine minutes it's going to be 8 a.m the cool thing about this is that when you actually keep refreshing it it's going to still keep counting down it's not like i'm not going to open this up and it's going to say you know 10 minutes it's going to be a true natural countdown okay so you see what i mean there and those are the two there but a really cool thing i, I listened to a lot of people who we're talking about who went to Funnel Hacking Live. I didn't go. I got the notes, which is pretty much the same thing as going, except it isn't. <laughs> but a lot of people say they were going to be adding a deadline countdown or a deadline timer to ClickFunnels. I don't know when the ETA is for it, but that's pretty cool. I used to use one that was, I think, 27 a month. I think it was deadline timer, deadline countdown, something like that. But the thing with that is that whenever someone lands on your page, 
it actually drops a cookie. So it's going to be a true countdown timer. Similar to the one I was using, I'm guessing that if you're going to be adding it, it's probably going to be very similar to it where let's say I landed here, it would add a cookie to my page where regardless of where they opened it up, let's say uh, they opened it up in their mobile phone or they opened it up tomorrow and there was like a few days left, that countdown timer would be natural all the way through as long as they're using a similar IP address, even if it's on their iPhone or the computer or the laptop or the smartphone or whatever type of phone they're using nowadays, if they're sending messages, messages in a bottle, it's probably gonna be showing up on that too. That would be pretty cool, but you get the idea. So those are the countdown timers. And like I said, from what I've heard, they're going to be adding the deadline type of countdown timer, which I know a lot of people really want. I know I want that because uh, if you want to get that, it's like 27 a month from that other company, uh, which isn't all that bad if you really want to use it, but you can get some good use out of this. Like I said before, as long as you're not being a douchebag about it and saying this, this offer is going to expire in three seconds and you come back to the page, it's still there. Who would have ever thought? Gotta love internet marketing. Either way, that's the video for you. Hope you got something out of it. It's very easy to set up. You just gotta know what you wanna do with it. Then it'll be much easier to kinda, you know, make it work. Either way, I'm James Canzanal. Thank you for watching. Links down below for ClickFunnels and your bonuses for future and current users. Once again, signing off, James Canzanal. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.